Hey there, boys and girls, kids and campers. Dennis here, KCMD, Kicking Cancer Metal Detecting. So I'm back up here today on this 1830s farm home site. Um, I've got my first signal already. I'm going to switch the camera around, show you what I got, and we're off on another metal detecting adventure. Thanks for checking in. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, there's my first target of the day. First hole, it's going to be a 1940 something penny, and it's my focus is struggling. It's probably struggling because it's really cold here in New York State. I could almost have died last night. I think it's a. Hang on. I think it's a 1949. Um, it is a wheat penny, which always makes me happy to dig a wheat penny. Um, I'm really, uh, I'll figure out what's going on with my. There it is. There's my focus. 1949 or a 1940. It's in rough shape, but uh, the back is beautiful. So we'll see you on the next good signal. Thanks for checking in. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, look what I got down there in the hole. Uh, you guys will know what that is. That says Ford USA. Um, let's take a look. I'm going to pull it out. We'll have a look at it. Get a few photos. It's awesome. Just gave me a really nice signal in the ground. That, my friends is in really bad shape but it was really deep that's going to be a model t hubcap how cool is that very sweet we'll see you on the next good signal hey guys and girls kids and campers look at that we've got silver in the hole right there let's pluck it out see what we've got we found a nice little silver dime out here yesterday, uh, right in this uh, same area. Let's see what we got today. Yesterday's was a Roosevelt. I don't know what today's is yet. Let's clean it up. Oh, it's not a rosy. Oops, sorry. This is going to be a Mercury dime. So older than the rosy from yesterday. I'm going to clean that off. Oh, it's a nice back. Oops. Clean it up a little more. Oh, that's nice. That's going to be a Mercury Dime. Let's see if we can get a year on it. I see her wings. Let's see what we got there. There it is, boys and girls. We've got a Mercury Dime. Second time digging here. Second day going to be a 1944 what a little sweetheart 90 percent silver and uh second silver dime on the property no mint mark that is just freaking awesome see you guys on the next good signal okay guys next signal up i thought it was going to be a penny and it's a buckle very tiny buckle uh Brass with a um, uh, an iron tongue. Very nice. Might be a small child's shoe buckle. Might be off from a um, a purse or something of that effect. Nice little buckle. See you on the next. Okay, guys, check this out. Woo, doggy! Now that is a nice suspender clip. It's got both of the tines still intact 
um, it's got some fancy on it um, this is not part of the one that I found yesterday but rather another one and it's it's just that is really cool man happy to find that I'll see you guys on the next good signal oh it's got a date oh <gasps> I've got a date look at that it's gonna be 1870 yeah baby holy cow we've got a date I'm gonna get a quick photo of that hey there girls and boys kids and campers we've got our next target up it's gonna be a modern earring it's uh, plated you can see that plating coming off from it it's not precious um, but it's an earring and it's cool and we like to dig cool stuff so I figured we throw this up on this video too I'll see you in the next good signal okay guys so check this out I hit this tone solid 35 34 35 I said let's dig it up it might be a coin it's not a coin it's cooler check this out this is uh, some kind of a piece of jewelry it's uh, it's got I can see the Indian face starting on it um, it's in the shape of an arrowhead I'm gonna clean that off a bit and I will get right back to you with some fantastic photos okay guys so we've got it cleaned up and it really is very cool um, I believe this is going to be a necklace. Um, it appears to be brass. It is an Indian brave. Two feathers off the top. Um, in the shape of an arrowhead, it has been pressed through the brass. Um, there's no indications or no markings on it to say who made it or when it was made. Um, it is very cool, though. The owner of the property has requested to keep this item, and so this is the last time you or I will see it. This will go back to the owner of the property. We'll see you on the next good signal.